In a healthy immune system, white blood cells called T cells patrol the body, identifying and destroying infected or potentially cancerous cells. Cancer cells, however, have many strategies to escape the body's natural surveillance system, allowing them to multiply and travel throughout the body unchecked. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania are developing an investigational, personalized cellular therapy aimed at modifying a patient's own T cells so that they can hunt for and possibly destroy cancerous cells. This therapy is currently being tested in clinical trials for a variety of cancers, including leukemia and lymphoma, and several types of solid tumors. All patients who have received this investigational treatment so far had cancers that had progressed despite treatment with U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved therapies. The investigational treatment approach begins by removing a patient's own T cells, which are collected by a procedure called apheresis, very similar to dialysis. Blood flows out through one intravenous tube and is passed through a machine to remove some of the patient's white blood cells, while the remaining blood is returned to the body through another tube. This procedure takes about two hours. Next, the T cells undergo a reprogramming process over several days in a Penn Research Lab called the Clinical Cell and Vaccine Production Facility. Scientists there use a gene transfer technique designed to teach the T cells to recognize, target, and kill tumor cells. The engineered cells contain an antibody-like protein known as chimeric antigen receptor, or CAR. In the case of blood cancers, including B-cell leukemias and lymphomas, the CAR is designed to bind to a specific protein on these cancerous B-cells called CD19. Over the next one to two weeks, more of these engineered cells are grown in the lab. This process generates an army of tumor hunter cells, and if successful, hundreds of millions to billions of engineered cells are prepared for infusion back into the patient. Several days prior to the infusion, the patient may receive chemotherapy drugs to reduce the cancer cells and help the new, genetically modified cells to multiply within the body. The infusion of the genetically modified T cells is given intravenously over just a few minutes. Research has shown that once infused into patients, the T cells can begin to search out and bind to surface proteins on tumor cells. Binding of the CAR to the target protein activates the modified T cell to kill the cancer cell and also promotes rapid multiplication of the modified cells. Tests from patients who responded to the therapy and trials reveal that each engineered cell can grow to more than 10,000 new cells in the patient's body. Most patients who had a very high level of cancer in their bodies and responded to the therapy so far experienced a cytokine release syndrome, also known as CRS, within a few days after receiving their infusions. This can be a very serious and life-threatening toxicity. It can range from flu-like symptoms with high fevers, nausea, and muscle pain, to low blood pressure and breathing difficulties that require intensive care. Clinical trial results of this approach have shown promise in patients with leukemia. Penn researchers have published results showing very high response rates for patients with relapsed and refractory acute lymphocytic leukemia, or ALL. In addition, many patients with advanced chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, and non-Hodgkin lymphoma responded to this therapy. Several patients among the small group of initial CLL trial participants have been in remission for nearly five years. In July 2014, this therapy was awarded the FDA's Breakthrough Therapy designation for ALL, a distinction that will help speed testing and development of this approach. This is the first personalized cellular therapy for the treatment of cancer to receive this important classification.